leaving the house. <laughs> this tripod I got is not working well. We're gonna test out a few things. Yeah, buddy. All right, since I've got this thing, I slept in it every night. It's funny, because the first night, we got a perfectly great house that was 20 feet away. I'm trying to figure out where all the rattles are. Put all the kitchenware and stuff in, so I'm kind of doing a test run. There you go. Something failed. Something plastic fell. So we'll see, we're gonna go up to, uh, up into Pisgah, cruise around, got my tea, got sandwich material, even got a crown and coke, and uh, we'll see what happens. I might find a nice spot, hang out, take a nap, come back home, who knows? Might be able to find a sunset. Depending on where we park. Alright, so we are going into the Pisgah Forest. Then we'll see a waterfall. It's kind of close to dark though, it's 7 Eleven. But we'll see what happens. Today we're drinking some tea. See how this thing handles in the windy hills? I'm sure it'll do well. It really feels like driving just to the south of me is uh, Davidson River. Some spots over there. Campground, Sycamore Campground, I think it's called. We're gonna get off the beaten path find us somewhere to go. This camera thing sucks. All right, so we're doing a little dirt driving here. See how this thing does. There is a off-road camping out here where there's signs. If you guys seen the video where we're driving with uh, night vision, running a nods, this is actually the road that we went up. So some of the things I'm looking for is how those guys got in there. Now, what I'm looking for is uh, just seeing how it handles, see how it takes the, the ruts. Now, I'm not gonna be rock crawling with this thing, but I am gonna be going to places that have no, uh, you know, dry camping. Trying to get to matches, staying in places that uh, are off the beaten path that not everybody's at. Because that's the best camping, I think. Unless you got a big group of your buddies, then it's fun. inch wheelbase so it's pretty pretty short which on, is a bonus for the off-road portion and a disadvantage for carrying all your junk but I think I'd rather have the accessibility of getting out in the middle of nowhere say so like this camper here it's barely a couple inches off the ground it's not gonna be able to go where we're gonna go and hopefully this will go where we're trying to go that tree. A lot of mountain bikers ride this by this road. I figured I'd give you some views of the prettiness. And uh, when it gets dark tonight, I'm going to turn on the old uh, 
I got the off-road lights on the top. Let's see if we hit any of this stuff. I don't hear anything. Got some campers over here. That's pretty cool. More campers. How pretty that is. Let's go find some more prettiness. Little micro waterfall. Oh, I got a mountain biker up here. All right, so I'm trying out four wheel drive and low range. Just on a gravel road still. I just want to make sure it works when I need it. So you can see low range there. Here's the switches. The one on the left that's lit up is four wheel drive. And then when you click it in, definitely a, a gear reduction, low power. Definitely can tell. I'll go ahead and put it back in, put it back in neutral. Take it out. All right, so low range is there. Let me go into gear. Should go wet here in a second. Let me just confirm I did it right. Put it in neutral. neutral. Ah, work. Neutral. Okay, click the button now. Go down to drive. Still in four wheel drive. Yeah, the gearing's definitely changed. So that works. So that's a plus. The damn reverse camera don't work though still. I'm trying to figure out where the fuse box is. There's quite a few of them in this thing. But I'll get that figured out on another adventure. Big bump. Let's see if we can catch the uh, sunset. Now that all the leaves are coming back, but that direction of that mountain over there is part of the Cherokee Nation. But down you can kind of see how steep these mountains are. Here's the road, and then it just falls off. But beautiful, definitely beautiful. There was a spot up here that I had a sandwich at before gone up here a couple times it's fun to sit out hang out have some sweet tea and a sandwich enjoy the beauty of the mountains there was one good spot I was hoping to park at but the early bird got the worm and I was not the early bird. Trees falling down over there. There's the rock. There's the rock.
Get off the road here a little bit. Check it out. This is a sweet spot down here. Right where I'm at is kind of the entrance off of the road. Look at this. This is beautiful. It's got a fire pit. It's got a widow maker right here. This thing is basically being held on by that one branch right there. Things to think about when you're camping. Yeah, only that one branch is holding that. What we got over here. Looks like they burnt this right here. Unless... I was gonna see if it was a lightning strike, but it wasn't. Pretty awesome campground though. Camping spot. I hear some water running down here. Let's go check it out. Water. So I'm excited. Waterfall, little, not even a waterfall, just a little water source in the background. It's beautiful out here. Let's get over here where there's some light. All right, walking around Pisca Forest. There's a lot of waterfalls around here. Uh, DuPont Forest has some really famous ones. Pisca Forest as well, where we're at, has some really nice ones. Sliding Rock, which is really cool, but kind of got damaged this last year. The old Sprinter van. Really digging this thing. These, uh, this front light bar, oh man, it is awesome. It is freaking awesome. That's the difference right there. Well, boom. Great for scouting out the next campground. Love it. Loving it. I would like to upgrade one for the back. When you hit the uh, reverse, it'd be nice to be able to uh, get some good light back there. So that may be an upgrade one of these days pretty soon. But the only way to figure out what you need is to run this damn thing. Go camping, see what works, what doesn't work, all that fun stuff. All right, we're camping. Pisca Forest. Had to figure out where the hell I did with the bread. It's gone. I'm pretty sure I brought it. It's gonna suck to make a sandwich without a uh, bread. There's not many places to hide bread around here. It's got to be somewhere. Oh, probably in here. Nope. Shit. Hmm. I 
Oh, Brad, where art thou? Did I really not bring bread? Hmm. That would've been a good spot. I don't think I brought bread. <laughs> what kind of half-ass camping is this? Hmm. There's not many spots that I could have put this damn bread. Where, oh, where is the bread? All right. I guess it's jalapeno pepper jack turkey wrap. Let me wash my hands real quick. <clears throat> Crown and coat. Oh, who forgets the sandwich bread? As soon as I eat this damn thing, I know I'm gonna find the bread and be super bummed out. Let's see here. Need a flashlight. Yep. Seriously, forgot the bread. I got chips though. How do you forget the dang bread? No, Rick, it's not under the pillow. <laughs> I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. All right, the breadless sandwich, here we come. I cannot believe I did that. This is still on the side of me. Nope. I didn't put it in the fridge, did I? Nope. How do you forget bread? That's just stupid. Hmm. Okay, I'm giving up on it. Giving up on it. Got some turkey, got some pepper jack wraps. We're going for the wrap. Pepper jack cheese and turkey wrap. Thought I was gonna wrap, didn't you? You thought I was gonna wrap. Boy, were you mistaken. <laughs> Mm. Cheers. You know what make this better? Some damn bread. Yes, I'm talking with my mouth full. I'm still astonished that I forgot bread. All right, here we go. Cheers now. I can't believe I forgot bread. I'm not going to be able to live that down. But no bread. All right, good morning. So, 
The blackout curtains work really well. It's nice and dark in here. And let's see. Let's take these down. Let's go outside. Let's go outside and see what we got. Ended up from the live chat, drove down a little bit. Found a spot. And uh it's nice and bright out. I like it. What time is it? Got too much crap on my phone here. All right. So we ended up camping along the road here. There's a little spot though. There was a ring. 5056. There's a post somewhere. <clears throat> enjoyed the video fun little overnight just to make sure that stuff works before the big camping trips start if you're new to the channel please subscribe you guys have a wonderful day stay safe go out and have fun see you on the next adventure <laughs>